Hey guys, this is John from waltonsinc.com and this is Meat Gistics. When you're making homemade jerky, you're seasoning, curing, and removing moisture from the meat by drying it out. Doing this helps prevent the growth of bacteria in your meat as it has a low water activity, meaning there's not enough water to allow bacteria to grow. But if you like your jerky a little softer, it is possible to make a jerky that has low water activity, but still is soft in texture, like think the tender bites from some of the bigger jerky companies. To make this at home, one way to do it is to use a seasoning and cure package like normal, and then add additional sugar. The sugar is gonna envelop the water and it's gonna make it unavailable for microbial growth, but it's also going to prevent it from cooking out of the meat, keeping your jerky nice and tender. So to do this, we're gonna be using 25 pounds of eye of the round cuts with the fat already cut off, a package of Walton's Bold Jerky Seasoning and Cure, then we're gonna add 18% of the starting weight in light brown sugar and 20% of the starting weight in water. So this would mean that per pound of jerky, we're gonna be using 2.8 ounces of brown sugar and 3.2 ounces of water. Because we need the water to dissolve and hold as much of the sugar as possible, we'll be mixing that in first and then adding the cure and seasoning to the mix. You really need to mix this incredibly well. My recommendation be that once you think you're done and you can't see any sugar at the bottom or you know, hear it as you're spinning it around, keep going for a few more minutes. Now, since the goal here is to keep the pieces tender, we'll want to avoid cutting the pieces too thin. So we're going to stay in that quarter inch to three eighths inch range. Since we have large eye of the round cuts, we're going to use a slicer. This is going to make the process faster and give us much more uniform sized cuts. Now, if we want after that, we can cut it up into strips to give it more of a classic jerky look before we tumble it. Now, if you don't have a slicer, this precise slice adjustable knife from Victorinox works well, but it's gonna take a little bit longer. Or you can use the Weston Jerky Slicing Knife and Board Kit. Now, I put my eye of the rounds in our blast freezer for about 45 minutes first to make the slicing easier, and it's gonna make it much more accurate and prevent tailing off of the meat towards the end of the slice. Once we've sliced this into pieces that are in between a quarter and three eighths inch thick, we're gonna tumble it for 40 minutes to allow the meat to pick up as much of the solution as possible. We'll have all the data on how much of the solution was picked up in the meat, what the meat weighed before smoking, and what it weighed after, and we'll post that all in our meat gistics article. Now the average weight loss while making jerky is between 50 and 75%. We're hoping to achieve much better results with this recipe. Now we're gonna tumble this using our KMV vacuum tumbler, but you can use something like the Marinade Express Vacuum Tumbler Pro. We've done that in the past and it works well. You just need to make sure that you do not exceed the recommendations for the drum or it won't pick up as much of the solution as you need it to. Now, if you don't have any way to tumble this at home, you're gonna to need to hold it in a container in a cooler for 12 to 24 hours to try to get the meat to pick up as much of the solution as it possibly can. Without a tumbler, mixing in all the sugar and seasoning becomes even more important. So make 100% sure everything is totally dissolved in there. Okay, so we're all done. We smoked it in our large pro smoker smokehouse, which allows us to control humidity. And I'll post the full smoke schedule, including humidity on meatgistics.com. But our basic smoke schedule was to start out with 20 minutes at 110 degrees for drying. So if you're following this recipe at home, that would mean dampers wide open for that first portion. Then 30 minutes at 135 degrees with smoke, and then 10 minutes at 140 degrees for drying again. We then bumped it up to 150 for 30 minutes, then 30 minutes at 155, and then we cooked it at 175 degrees until the internal temperature was 165. We then ran a drying cycle on it for 60 minutes. So if you're trying the same thing at home and you have a dehydrator, Take it out, put it in there for about two hours, put your dehydrator up to the top temperature it will go, that's usually 160 degrees, and like I said, about two hours. So as far as the results go, I'm really happy with how this all turned out. We started out with 25 pounds of meat, and after smoking and dehydrating, we ended up with just about 20 pounds of product. That's giving us a loss of only 20%, which is outstanding. Generally, when you're making jerky at home, you're looking at losses of 50% or more. So we were able to cut that in less than half. The jerky is nice and tender, and as you can see, it's really flexible. 
Now the bowl does have a really nice taste to it, but if I was doing this again, I might add more seasoning to give it a stronger taste just to help cut through all the sugar that we added. The only thing that can be a little bothersome with this is that it does have a slight stickiness to it because the sugar that we cooked on the outside just kind of caramelizes. So our water activity for this was below 0.85. So this is a shelf stable product. But remember, without a way to test the water activity at home, there's no way for you to be sure that you have the same water activity. So the main benefits of this is that you're gonna end up with a nice soft and tender piece of jerky and you're gonna have far less product loss when you compare it to traditional methods. As always, remember to like, comment, and subscribe and visit waltonsinc.com and meatjustics.com to find everything but the meat. Thanks for watching, I'm John with waltonsinc.com and I'll see you guys next time. Subscribe to Walton's YouTube channel to watch more amazing videos or shop at waltonsinc.com to find everything but the meat. Check out our latest sales and giveaway video here or watch another hand-picked video by clicking here.